hi guys how have you been welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is liz and in this tutorial we're going to make this skirt it's a side strap skirt which is strapped on both sides and i hope you're going to enjoy making this skirt i'm going to leave a link for the matching bralette in the description box so be sure to check it out so you're going to need yarn and i'll be using this brand which is winter king it's a medium weight yarn i'll need two hooks a three millimeter hook and a 4.5 millimeter hook then a measuring tape a yarn needle and stitch markers the stitch markers are optional you don't really need them you can work without them i'm going to use the three millimeter hook for the waistband so start with a slip knot and make a chain of 12 chains After getting the 12 chains, add one more chain, then go into the 12th stitch with a single crochet. Then work a single crochet into every stitch for a total of 12 stitches. I'm done with row one. To begin row two, chain one and turn and we are working in the back loops only so if you were to work into this stitch we'll be working on both of the loops both of the two loops of that stitch but then we'll be working at the back right here so each of the back loops is going to get one single crochet Chain one and turn to begin row three. Again, continue working back loops in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches. And we're going to work like this until we have the measurement of the waist for the front panel. In my case, I'm working six inches. So I'll keep going like this until I have six inches. And when you're measuring, make sure that you're stretching out your project. So it should be fully stretched as you measure. I'll go on make 10 rows, then I'll come back so that we can measure and see how many inches the 10 rows will give me. And then we can continue from there. I went on to make 20 rows and so I'm going to get my measuring tape and measure this to see whether I've hit my required measurement which is 6 inches and to measure this I'm going to make sure that the whatever I've made is fully stretched so after stretching it out, I'm getting to above 6 inches, which is okay. So I'm going to get my project, chain 1, start with a single crochet in the first row. We are working on the rows, a double crochet into the next row, a single crochet into the next, double crochet into the next row. We are alternating between a double crochet and a single crochet, and each row is going to get a stitch. So by the end of the first row, we should have a total of 20 stitches, alternating between single crochets and double crochets. At the end of row one, you should have a double crochet. And to make sure that you end with a double crochet, the rows that you made in the waistband should be an even number. 
I'm in the last stitch, so I'm going to put the double crochet, chain one, and turn. Then I'm going to pull out the three millimeter hook and get the four point five millimeter hook. Like I mentioned, the five millimeter hook is for the main part of the skirt. Begin in the first stitch with a single crochet wherever there was a double crochet, a double crochet where there was a single crochet, a single crochet on top of the double crochet, a double crochet, and we keep alternating. So the stitch that had a double crochet is going to get a single crochet in the, in the second row, and the stitch that had a single crochet gets a double crochet. And keep alternating to the end of row two. I'm done with row two. To begin row three, chain one and turn. Go back into the first stitch with a single crochet, a double crochet next. So the first stitch should always be a single crochet, while the last should always be a double crochet. And you're going to keep alternating like that to the end of row three. Begin row 4 by chaining 1 and turning. Go back into the first stitch with a single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet, and keep alternating. So basically this is what we're going to be doing for all the rows in the front panel. So keep going with the row 4. And then work as many rows as you need in order to get the full length of the skirt you want. In my case, I want to work a skirt of 16 inches. And therefore, I'm going to work 50 rows. I've done my 50 rows and I'm going to measure this to see whether I've gotten the right full length. So when I measure these without stretching, when you're measuring the length, you do not stretch. I'm going up to around 16.5 inches, which is okay. So I'm going to pick my project and work an edging on the sides of the panel. So I'll begin by chaining one and I'll start working on the rows. So since I have 50 rows, I should have a total of 50 single crochets. I'm putting one single crochet into each row. Whether it's a double crochet row or a single crochet row, they are all going to get just one single crochet. So if you've worked 60 rows, you should have a total of 60 plus 12, the ones that are on top, you should have 72 rows. If you've worked 50 rows like me, you should have a total of 62 single crochets in this row of edging so just go on work one single crochet on the sides one single crochet onto each row
the single crochets are each going to get one single crochet and that's why I should have a total of 62 single crochets at the end of this row of edging that is 50 plus 12 Chain 1 and turn to begin the second row of edging. Begin with a single crochet in the first stitch, a single crochet in the next, chain 2, skip 2, work 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches, chain 2, skip 2, 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches, chain 2 and skip and then keep alternating between the chain 2 and the 3 single crochets to the end of row 2. At the end I'm only going to have two single crochets remaining and so instead of doing three single crochets I'll do two then chain two and skip to the last stitch and do a single crochet. So remember to do this on the other side of the panel so that your rows are balanced chain one and turn. Work a single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochets on the chain two stitch a single crochet on top of the other two single crochets, two single crochets on top of the chain two, then single crochets on top of the previous single crochets and we keep alternating like that. So the single crochets get a single crochet, the chain two stitch gets two single crochets. I'm done with the edging on that side and I've created the loop so I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn. Then I'm going to reattach the yarn on the other side and since I would started working the edging from the bottom in the other panel I'll start working the edging from the top on the other side so begin with a slip stitch a slip knot and attach it in the first stitch with a slip stitch chain one go back into that stitch with a single crochet then a single crochet into each of the other 11 stitches
I start working on the rows and each row now gets a single crochet. Remember whether it's a double crochet row or a single crochet, they all get just one single crochet. And at the end of this row, you should have a total of 62. At least I should have a total of 62. You should have your number of rows that you worked for the main part of the skirt plus the 12. So work till you get to the end and I'll meet you there. I'm at the end of that row so I'll chain one and turn. On the other side we did one single crochet at the end then two single crochets after the chain two so that is the exact thing that we're going to do in this second row of edging so one single crochet chain two two single crochets into the next two stitches chain two now we start change we change to three single crochets then chain two skip two three single crochets chain two skip two three single crochets and we alternate to the end of that row I'm going to repeat this to the end and then when I get there, I'll work single crochets back to where I've started. I'm done with the edging on both sides and the front panel is completely done. I'm going to get my 3mm hook and start the waistband for the back panel. So begin with a slip knot as usual and start with a chain of 12 just like we did with the front panel chain one more and go back into the 12 stitch with a single crochet and a single crochet into each of the stitches for a total of 12 single crochets in the first row of the waistband To begin row 2, chain 1 and turn and start working in the back loops only. One single crochet into each of the back loops and work a single crochet in the back loops of the previous single crochets till you get to the end. Begin the next row by chaining one and turning and then work in single crochets and we'll continue like this until we have the waistband that we desire. In my case I should have a waistband of 14 inches when stretched. So I'll just keep going with the single crochets in the back loops only and I'll come back once I'm done with the waistband. I've done 36 rows in the back and I'm going to measure to see whether I've gotten my 14 inches when stretched out. So after giving this a good stretch, I'm going up to 14 inches, which is okay. So now I can begin the main part of the skirt and I'll start by chaining one work a single crochet in the first stitch and we're going to alternate with a double crochet into the next row that is we're working on the rows a single crochet a double crochet single crochet and each stitch goes onto the rows so we had 36 rows 
we should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row alternating between a single crochet and a double crochet To begin row 2 chain 1 and turn then change into the 4.5 millimeter hook and start with a single crochet, a double crochet and we alternate like this to the end of row 2. I'm done with row 2 and ready to begin row 3. Row 3 is going to be an increased row so chain 1 and turn then work an increase in the first stitch and the last. A single crochet into the first stitch, double crochet into the same first stitch, and a double a single crochet again into that first stitch. So the first stitch has three stitches, then start alternating between double and single crochets, single crochet, then double to the end. I'm going to mark that row so that I know the rows of increase. You don't really need to do this if you can keep count or you can keep in touch with the parts where you increased then continue alternating between a single crochet and a double crochet to the end and we're going to increase at the end of the row in that last stitch work a double crochet a single crochet and a double crochet again and that's the increase chain one and turn then in row four we're going to work a row with no increase so single crochet double crochet single crochet and alternate to the end so just one stitch in every stitch and make sure that the stitch had that had a single crochet gets a double crochet the stitch that had a double crochet gets a single crochet We're going to work row 4 to the end and then we're going to work back row 5 again with no increase to the end. And then we'll increase again in row 6. So work row 4 and row 5 and I'll meet you to begin row 6 which will be an increased row. I'm done with row 5. So I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to work an increase in row six. So single crochet, then double crochet into the same stitch, single crochet and start working the double crochet. I'll mark again. You don't really need to mark like I said. So in the next stitch work a double crochet, then a single crochet, a double crochet. A single crochet and we'll alternate to the end and at the end of row six we're going to work another increase so the increases are being worked after every two rows in the third row after the two rows of no increase I'm at the end of row six and so I'm going to work an increase there double crochet single crochet and double crochet into that last stitch chain one and turn to work row seven so row seven and eight is a row of no increase so we're going to work two rows with no increase that is row seven and eight work the two rows and i'll meet you in row nine so that we can increase again if we will not have hit our desired hip measurement At the end of row 8, 
I'm going to measure to see how far along I am. And I'm going to measure the hip measurement while stretched. So you need to stretch your project when you're measuring. So after stretching it, this out, it's going up to 17 inches. And I need 19, so I'm going to work an increase in the ninth row. And I think this is going to be my last increase. And then I'll have hit my hip measurement. So keep increasing after every two rows until you hit the hip measurement of your back panel. At the end of the ninth row, I'm going to work another increase, chain one and turn. And now I'm going to work rows of no increase at all. So begin with a single crochet, a double crochet, and a single crochet and alternate to the end of that row. So now we're working rows to the end of the skirt. And basically you want to make sure that you have the same number of rows as the ones that we had in the front panel. So I'm in row 9. I'm going to work until I get to row 50. And I'll be done with the back panel. Don't worry if your project looks small. It stretches. So it's going to stretch out. I'm done with the 50 rows of the back panel. And done with the main part. So now it's time to do the edging at the side. So we'll do an edging on both sides just like we did with the front panel and create the loops. We begin by chaining one. And then we're going to work a single crochet into each of the rows just like we did in the front panel. Each row, regardless of whether it's a double crochet or a single crochet row, should get one single crochet. And then on top, the single crochets will each get a single crochet. So just do this edging the same way we did for the front panel. And do it on this side and on, on the other side of the back panel. And I'll meet you once you're done with the edging. I'm done with the back panel and my skirt is done. All that's remaining is to do the straps that I'm going that are going to join the back panel to the front panel. So we're going to have the back panel fold to meet the front on one side and on the other side after the straps. To work the straps, I get two strands of the yarn and begin with a slip knot then you're going to work a chain of between 250 and 300 so you need to work a long chain as long as I as you need it it doesn't matter how many chains you're going to do provided it's going to fit onto the loops that you've just created for your skirt so if your skirt is longer you're going to need to make a longer chain if your skirt is shorter you're going to need to make a shorter chain I've gone ahead to make the both of the chains and I'm going to start attaching them onto the sides of the skirt but before that I'll hide the tails with my yarn needle so just like this Put them and hide them through the stitches. And once you're completely sure that it's hidden, you can cut off the remaining tail. So I'll go on, hide all the tails, and then attach the straps.
it's time to attach the straps now so i'm going to get one of the straps and put it through the first loop that we created on on the front and on the back panel so just watch what i'm doing this is what you're going to do with your straps You crisscross your strap and then put it on the one that was on the back panel comes to the front panel. The one that was in the front goes to the back panel. Then make a crisscross again and keep going until you get to the last loop at the bottom of the skirt. I've attached both of the straps and at this time, at this point, we are done with the skirt. One of my straps is a bit short, so I'm going to make it longer and then I'll tie knots at the end of each of the strap and then cut off the remaining tail. So thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this tutorial. If you've liked the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. And subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed yet. I've left a link to my social media pages. So go follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and also on Facebook. And tag me onto your projects once you're done recreating this cut. Thank you very much. Bye.